Hello, mysterious person behind the screen. Today we're going to be looking at, well, taking a closer look at the almost famous 4K HMV <laughs> exclusive Cine Edition. Uh, this is a release that I've been anticipating for a while. I love the film. I first saw it last year i think it was after my surgery so it would have been early lockdown in the uk like march time and i loved it completely fell in love with it and uh, i was so excited for this 4k release and uh yeah i'm gonna point out some interesting things about it uh, sort of in comparison to the the us release that has come out around the same time so uh yeah so the first thing you'll notice continuing kind of the theme of the hmv cine editions um is it comes in a beautiful hard box which is just absolutely gorgeous it's, it's so sturdy and solid this is the cover that is used on the steelbook release in america the uh sort of mainline 4k release over there and i really like it it's when it was first announced i kind of thought huh, that's kind of underwhelming for what it is but when you actually get it in hand it does look really nice and uh, the back is also really cool with the members of stillwater so if we go around to the spine here i will just show you now the poster which i have taken out but uh, it came with a gorgeous gorgeous poster of the uh, the almost famous tour that is featured in the film and here it is and it will definitely be going on my wall i don't know if you can see it there beautiful cast photo of, of the, the main cast from the film beautiful poster really nice freebie really happy to have that and then if we take a look inside this i believe is the artwork for the paramount presents uh standard blu-ray edition in the us so this is interesting. I really like this artwork as well. I think it's really cool. So I'm glad we're getting kind of the best of both worlds. And then on the back, we do have the wonderful Miss Penny Lane. Same image from the cover. We open it up. Interestingly, we get some more freebies here. But I will say here, this is a four-disc release. And it's a Sony release. Now, in America, I'm 99% sure that this is a Paramount release. And... Looking at the film itself, it does open with a Sony Pictures logo. So if anyone has the American release of this, what logo does the film open with? Because I'm kind of interested to find out. So we got the bootleg, bootleg cut on 4K, the theatrical cut on 4K, the bootleg cut on Blu-ray, and the theatrical cut on Blu-ray. Um, the UK is kind of unique here in that we are getting the bootleg cut and the theatrical cut not on 4K, on Blu-ray as well. Not just on 4K, on Blu-ray as well. In America, you're just getting the two cuts on 4K. So it's cool that for the UK, they kind of went the extra mile and put Blu-ray editions in as well. Taking a look at the other freebies here. So we have a really cool, almost kind of replica of the ticket from the film. The uh, Black Sabbath with Stillwater ticket that, that William kind of goes to and meets the band and everything. Very cool. Not Not the sturdiest of things. It's very sort of loose um, kind of paper but it's cool it's cool that it's in there and we also get some stickers which is kind of cool I mean I'm probably going to leave them as is because say I just wanted to put I don't know, the still water sticker on something you just have a blank spot here and I'm probably going to leave it as is but it, it, it's very nice they're, they're very cool stickers I um, it's a cool freebie I mean any freebie with this is, is kind of cool but um but yeah, the release from HMV comes with a, uh, well, it's not a J card, it's it's a paper backing um, that's stuck to the front of it, but I removed it. So if you want to read the specs of the release and the blurb, excuse my shaky hands, if it'll focus in, you can pause the video and read this now. As I say, it's kind of unique in the UK that this is a Sony release. I assume they're using the same 4K transfer. I can't imagine they do two separate transfers. Um... But either way, it looks quite nice. I mean, the 4K on it, it isn't going to blow your socks off. It's still very much... It, not, it's not soft, but it, it has a distinct look to it. You're not going to be kind of blown away by the HDR or the colours. But it is a nice 4K transfer. It looks a lot better than the old Blu-ray did. And so, yeah. And i got to say, in terms of extras, this they, they've knocked it out of the park here. Um, all the extras are on the 4K theatrical cut disc. And 
They've, inclu uh, they've included a bunch of new stuff, like newly recorded stuff, which is in itself amazing in, in this day and age. Um, but they've also ported over everything. So initially the release that was loaded with all the special features in the US was this, the almost famous Director's Edition, which came with the bootleg cut. It's a very nice DVD, um, comes with both cuts, and a whole host of special features, and a CD of the Stillwater soundtrack from the film. When it came to Blu-ray, at least the edition I have, there was none of that. It was just the extended cut on its own, no theatrical cut, and the only extras we got were the Love Comes and Goes featurette, Lester Bangs interview, and some trailers. I'm happy to report that this 4K release ports over everything from that old DVD, apart from the Stillwater soundtrack, that's the only thing that's kind of missing, and adds some new stuff. So this is really the definitive release of the film at this point in time. I can't imagine anything beating this. There's, it's got everything you could ever want from a release of it. It's gorgeous. It, it's a gorgeous package to release as these cine editions always are and it's a cracking film if you've never seen almost famous go for it i have never seen the theatrical cut actually so that's kind of i might check that out one of these days but i mean the bootleg cut is it's fantastic that's the only version i've watched probably the only version i will ever default to but yeah i hope you enjoyed this quick little look at the cine edition of almost famous it's a gorgeous release uh have you picked it up let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one take care now